Uh, here's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you have children. And they look up to this oh. guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, where does that – where – there is no line there. Of course. Of course there's not. All I'm saying is the people who are defending them, defending – Hulk Hogan or Terry is Terry Balea is looking at it with that thin line of, well, the character said it and, and not Hulk. Like, I don't, I don't get that point that like this. Terry is a horrible fucking person. Mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan is the real American. That's like, but, that's like saying like, Chris Benoit killed his family, but the crippler Chris Benoit did some great stuff in the ring. Exactly. You can't separate that shit. No, you can't. But can't you? I mean, have you gone back and watched a Chris Benoit match? No. Yes. No. I actually no. haven't. You you have it, but but you have. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why, but yeah, I know, I know this conversation has come up a lot about Benoit. But for me, I don't have a very hard time separating the art from the real person. Okay. Um, and and then I will probably be able to watch a Hulk Hogan match, and be able to. Carp compartmentalize that when I'm watching that too. It's not going to, I'm not, I'm not doing 12 hour Benoit marathon Sorg, but if no, a no, match no. comes on, I'm not going like, to be like, no, after this, I'm going to turn it off. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing that because it was good. He was a good wrestler. I, I mm -hmm. think, I think the difference here, uh, you know, uh, Mel, Mel Gibson said some really crappy things in, in recent years. We all, <laughs> we all know about that. We don't need to recount that, but are you going to stop watching lethal weapon? No, are you gonna but stop no. watching episodes of Seinfeld because of what Michael Richards said. Exactly. No, but Mel, Mel yeah. Gibson and yeah. Michael Richards and Chris Benoit were not childhood role models. Exactly. I think that's why this you is. You think that's the difference? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, yes. I mean, and I'm not gonna not watch a Hulk Hogan match. I'll still right. if it, if I'm watching a classic WrestleMania and a Hulk Hogan match comes on, sure, yeah. I'll watch it. But I'm not gonna be like, oh yay, that guy still. Mm -hmm. Isn't too good or whatever. And, and I think I, I think you would be naive to think that most of the people that entertain you, be it in wrestling or otherwise, um, that this stuff doesn't happen. I think the unfortunate thing is uh, is Hogan got caught, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, especially when we talk about just the way things were in wrestling, we've, we've commented several times. If you look at like '80s WWE stuff, there's some rough stuff there, racial, domestic, etc. Right. Uh, and and mm -hmm. and in a day where we're kind of talking about the Confederate flag and whether that should be okay, it, this doesn't hold up anymore. Now WWE's not scrubbing all that stuff, mm. so you know but, you gotta think if that stuff was making it on TV, what do you think the discussions were of people of that era? You know, that's just I'm not I'm trying to play a little bit devil's advocate here, but there is a little bit of like that's just how unfortunately things were and it's hard for somebody i mean how many people have parents or grandparents that still say some things you that really don't work today oh right no, oh yeah right. i mean it's the work yeah uh here's the thing though uh in this day and age wrestling isn't all rednecks anymore right right the fans yeah, yeah. so when you have paying fans who are uh, insulted by something that an icon in your product has done, mm -hmm. you have to take action. Right, right. They lost fifty million dollars on the stock market. So but imagine that, what that they was would have done. Of the week. Yeah. So it, it could have been, it may have increased. I haven't checked. Mm -hmm. So, but imagine what it would have done if they kept Hulk Hogan on. Right. right. How much stock yeah. they would lose then. But, and the money in the advertising and all that stuff. Like, that's money you can't get back. Mm -hmm. Wheels? So, oh, go ahead, wheels. Yes, let's ask the resident black guy oh, on the show. I was going to say, um... <laughs> wheels, how do you feel? And, and it's like something we just mentioned earlier. Um, the fact that, uh, people are keep mentioning McMahon saying nigga and Booker T saying nigga they said nigga oh, Terry Balea said the naughtier one mm -hmm. so they cannot compare Booker T who is a black person and Vince McMahon with Terry Balea mm -hmm. so 
I mean, why sit there and bring those guys up when no, Hogan is the bad guy. He's right. Yeah, right. he's he's the jerk. Right, because it was said in a different way. It was it was it was unequivocally said in a hateful way. Right, yeah. not as part of the storyline, not as part of anything else. It was like he's mad at that person, and that came out. Right. Yeah. Mm, so. Exactly. I mean, it's well, kind of like don't. Uh, uh, in basketball, Donald Sterling, he said the exact most, mostly the exact same thing. Is that the Clippers guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he got his ass kicked out. He lost his. He lost ownership. Uh, and and the one thing I, I love, I, love, I had to think about for a minute is they took off all of his stuff on on WWE.com. They they made sure he's nowhere to be found.